Hello, I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology and today I want to introduce you to a completely new product from Sapphire that brings multi-screen computing to a much broader user base. The Sapphire Vid 2X, this little box, allows us to connect two HD DVI monitors to a single video source. That source can be a dual link DVI output from a graphics card or it can be a display port. And we also provide the ability to connect to Mac computers because Mini DisplayPort is Thunderbolt compatible. So what we've got here today is two standard HD DVI monitors connected to the DisplayPort model of the Sapphire Vid 2X. And what I want to show is what happens when we plug it into the Thunderbolt output of a MacBook Air. As soon as we plug it in, the MacBook detects the extra monitor and will throw up two cloned images of what we have on the Mac screen. So for the teaching environment, for example, where you might want to work from a laptop but display larger information to a bigger class, this would be a perfect situation. But the other thing the box can do is it can stretch the image across both displays to give us a much larger workspace, a single layer surface as it's known. And all I have to do, quite simply, is to flick a switch on the box and change it from clone mode into stretch mode and the display will be detected as a single large display. And we can see straight away that the uh, desktop is now stretched across both screens. This provides a much larger workspace, increased productivity and of course it gives you much increased visibility of the content of your work. So for example, if you're working with very large spreadsheets, there's really no substitute for working across a large monitor area like this where you can see the detail of all the data. And of course, if you are displaying data, you want to see all of it right to the edges of the screen. You don't want any data to be lost effectively behind the bezels. But if you're doing something like an image or playing a game, then you'd want the picture to appear continuous as though part of it was hidden by the bars formed by the frames of the monitors. So we need to do what's called bezel correction. Now on our unit, all you have to do to achieve bezel correction is simply to adjust some of the dip switches here and it adjusts the image to suit the width of the frame that you have. So the Sapphire Vid 2X does all of the things I've shown you, but the clever thing about it is it doesn't require any drivers or special software. You simply plug it in. It doesn't care if you're using Windows, Mac OS, Linux or any other operating system. It also doesn't care what kind of graphics architecture there is. It simply looks for a signal on the DVI or DisplayPort output and away you go. You always know what's going on with the Sapphire Vid 2X because the status screen will display whether you're in clone or stretch mode, the resolutions of the displays and also whether you're using any bezel correction. So whether you're using the Sapphire Vid 2X in clone mode to give better coverage in a classroom or an exhibition for example, or in stretch mode where you can have a single layer surface with many applications open or display a single large image as part of a multi-screen display system for example. We know that the Sapphire Vid 2X is a cost effective and simple way of using multi-screen applications. You can find more information at sapphiretech.com. My name is Bill Donnelly, thank you for watching.